Prince Andrew's playboy image earned him a good telling off by the irate Prince Philip, a tell-all biography has claimed. Prince Andrew has earned a playboy reputation because he dated a string of women prior to marrying Sarah Ferguson. Following their divorce, the Duke of York reportedly bounced back to his playboy ways and even knocked on rock star Courtney Love's door to look for chicks. In Prince Andrew, the war hero from Buckingham Palace by Jessica Jane, the author reveals how Andrew was favored more than his brother, Prince Charles from the Queen and Prince Philip. She claims, Andrew was the son that Philip really wanted. The Duke wanted a tough boy, not a sensitive one like Charles. Andrew inherited his father's charm and looks as well as the Mountbatten arrogance. He was the only one who could shake his father out of one of his famous sulks. The book, published in 2012, suggests that as the years went by, it became obvious that Andrew, the spare to the heir, was the Queen's favorite. Jessica Jane explains, his early life as a playboy was hurting the image of the royal family, further worsened by the fact that the prince didn't perform engagements as much as his family wanted him to. Further adding, and during the week that Andrew stayed with the Queen and Prince Philip at Holyrood House, the Queen's official residence in Edinburgh, the irate Philip gave his son a dressing down for being lazy and selfish. That week shortly after leaving the Navy, Andrew visited St. Andrew's Church in Clermiston, Edinburgh. The next day, he had flown to Hampshire where he visited a church, a hospital and a school and also opened an exhibition on the Royal Navy. M's Jane claims, these weren't sufficiently enough for his father, who found out that Andrew had spent the rest of the week golfing on the nearby Brunsfield links. According to the biography, Philip was infuriated and gave his second son a tongue lashing, in the presence of the Queen, that the servants heard. The author claims, they recalled that Philip asked Andrew how many engagements he did that week, and the elderly prince continued ranting, telling his son that he should sort himself out and stop lounging. M's Jane reveals, Andrew was visibly shaken. The book suggests, the royal family was deeply concerned, and wanted him to do better particularly in his new position as representative of British Trade International, an unpaid job, which he took up in September 2001. 